Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to JB Breaks Free. I hope you're having a great day, a blessed day, and getting 1% better than yesterday. And breaking free from anything that's holding you back from having the best day ever and becoming the best version of yourself. I'm on that path every day. Today I want to talk about 10 habits that will change your life. There was a point in time where I don't think I did any of these 10 habits. And now I'm pretty close to doing all 10, but I still just like to put this stuff into my head as a reminder, as a refresher of where to focus, what to concentrate on, and to get a little bit better. Because I think we can probably all improve on these 10 daily habits. Before I get into that, I want to say I've made... As of Friday, $278 with Instacart, Spark, Walmart, and Uber Eats this week. I'm 300, really good. Um, for me, part time, I am going to mow a lawn tomorrow, which I will get paid $30 to do, and that will get me over my $300 threshold. So that's good for this week. I do have three straight short weeks coming up where I'm only waiting tables three nights, so the pressure will be on a little bit for my other income streams but I'm confident that I can take care of those. I have been exercising a little bit more. Um, I've been doing push-ups, I've been doing air squats, a little bit of planking. I know I gotta do some more planks. I do kind of modified push-ups. I can do modified planks, you know, until we build up that strength. I think planks are great for longevity. Squats are good for longevity. Um, I feel good doing them. I have been drinking 100x times more smoothies than normal in my life since I started my smoothie challenge. It's now, can I dare say, becoming part of an almost daily routine. I'm loving bringing the smoothies to work. My favorite ingredients at this point are spinach, uh, specifically baby spinach. I throw a whole banana in there, ice cubes. Um, I like berries in there, strawberries or blueberries flax seed to give me a couple extra grams of protein. I put collagen protein peptides, two scoops in there to get 18 more grams of protein, and I put creatine in there. Uh, one thing I have noticed with at work that when you drink it, the stuff gets in your teeth, like probably the little blueberry, you know, shards or whatever they are. So I kind of drink it before service, but I'm, I'm in there an hour and a half before service, just setting up and getting specials. And so I have time to drink it and then to, uh, clean my teeth so I'm not looking too strange as I'm talking to the customers. But I've really been enjoying that. It's a healthy way to get some veggies and hopefully giving me some more energy too. I want to bring up a record I'm going to show in a short tomorrow, but I sold this record $75. It was an old 78 RPM called I Want a Hippopotamus for Christmas. If you're familiar with that Christmas song, it was one record in a box of, we'll say like 50 or 60. That I actually got for free and I was going through it kind of picking out what's good picking out what's bad I kind of have that skill a little bit but things will surprise you and you know you always want to look something up and I didn't even see that I want a hippopotamus for Christmas side I saw the other side the not popular side I think it's called like I want my ears on straight or something like that a kids kids record from probably the 50s and I looked it up and oh my god it's going for like 75 100 dollars jeez Louise so look up every record, check something out. You never know what the value could be. I threw it up on eBay a couple months ago, probably an hour or a month, roughly. Just wanted to get it up there. I don't expect to sell, to sell Christmas stuff until about October, November. And uh, it sold yesterday for $75. And after fees and stuff and shipping and all that, I probably cleared about 62 bucks, 60 bucks. So just thrilled about that. I've been a selling machine lately. I just sold a 49ers hat that I got for a dollar. Sold it for like 25. A bunch of Elvis records and Polka records even. Just uh, with a great hobby, which is something that I will talk about in the 10 Daily Habits. Also, sometimes you find strange things in the, uh, you know, when you pull the albums out of their sleeve, their cover, you can hear some things floating around in there. A couple of things that I've kept. This guy playing guitar. I think we have flowers in his mouth or something. Nothing on the back. That's kind of cool. Then it there's, was this. 1966. This is uh, from my hometown. The Abraham Lincoln stamp. I don't know. I, for some reason I like the year 1966. If I could go back, that might be one of my years to go to. Um, 
there was this cool card and uh, it does have some names like the name of the baby and a baby shower invitation and Wall Street and uh, for Joyce Blowers. I should try to look up this person and, and see if I can find them. If they were born in 1966 and do the quick math. Um, who knows, they might even be a customer of mine. I might, I might look up and see um, see if I could find that person. That would be kind of cool. But let's get into the 10 daily habits that can change your life. Number one, wake up early. I think that one of the biggest life hacks for me has been waking up relatively the same time every day. And that's for me is hovering around 7 a.m. And, you know, I'll give myself a snooze even to like 7.08 or 7.15. But that's it usually. Um, I'm up between 7 and 7.15. And I'd love to get that an hour earlier. So I think I can get better there. Um, there's lots of ways that you can practice waking up early. And I think we probably all could use another 15, 20, half an hour to our day, right? So maybe we could wake up a little earlier. We can do so by gradual shifts. And also for me, it was finding purpose and finding passion, self-improvement, side hustling, becoming free, becoming debt free, having energy. So those are just some ways that get me up and ready for the next day. And um, I'm always excited about the next day, which is a great thing. Number two of the 10 daily habits that will change your life, drink loads of water. Um, I thought it was 64 ounces a day, but then I thought it was double that, a liter a day, 10 glasses a day. I used to think it was eight cups of eight ounces, so 64, but you know, even 10 glasses a day and to start your day with a big cup of water. And I've been reading more and more that warm water or even room temperature water is better than cold water. I'm not positive on the science there, but drink loads of water, number two. Number three, a soothing bedtime routine. Get your stuff ready the night before. I know my wife does a lot of that with clothes and prepping up for the morning. Um, can meditate, can journal, of course, limiting screen time. Um, we'll talk about reading as we get down more, but you can read a little bit before bed, listen to soothing music, always to have a soothing bedtime routine and uh, to go to sleep without worry. And I honestly kind of do. Um, I, that wasn't always the case. It is now, knock on wood. But I, I kind of lay my head down easy at night, looking forward to the next day and grateful for the day that I just had. So I think that's a pretty good place to be in. Number four of the 10 daily habits that will change your life, form a habit of regular exercise. I know for me, if I could do it before 7 a.m. would be a life changer for me, but I'm in such a good routine right now, it's hard for me to break. And I've honestly been staying up a slight bit later. I've been really like the breaking bad. When I get out of work and everyone goes to bed, I'll ice my feet, my neuropathy feet after a, a day of gig work and waiting tables, and I'll lay right on that couch and you know, I'll watch Breaking Bad till 11-ish, but I was going to bed between 10 and 11 at one point, but I've been, been inching up a little bit, so I gotta keep an eye on that, make sure I don't become a night owl. Um, but mornings is a great time for exercise. Starting small, which I kind of think I'm doing, make it consistent over even intensity, and work out clothes. Like I got my t-shirt, I've been wearing my mesh shorts lately, that just lends itself more to stretching, to squats, to planks. Um, I know psychologically, for me, the mesh shorts means I can be a little bit more active. I even have these dry fit shirts that are a little bit tighter that I've been actually throwing on for the first time in a long while. And I think just feeling a little bit better about myself, having the smoothies, being a little bit more mindful with my eating habits. I had a little slip up late last night around 11. Good God. I'm at 192 right now for weight. I would love to get into the 180s. That would be a massive victory for me. And that would make me want to keep going. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to getting that win. But regular exercise, for me, I have a lot of body pain. My neck, my wrists, my left knee, my neuropathy in my feet, my lower back. So sometimes movement is hard for me. Exercise is hard for me too because just to 
I'm going to wake up that pain. And then as we talked about before with pain, I notice the pain a lot more when I am not doing the habits that mask my pain as far as vices and bad eating. So I, it makes me a little bit hesitant, but I'm, I'm making some moves anyways. And there's actually a stadium here, a high school stadium that I want to start walking some stairs and see how that goes. I'd love to do that early in the morning. So that's sort of my plan for a habit of regular exercise. Number five, eat mindfully. Chew slow and save and savor. Um, one thing that I have to do, and I think when you're not great at eating mindfully and with a sweet tooth and snacking, especially late, is to track. Spend tracking is huge, and so is food tracking. You gotta know what it is, know your habits. Listen to your gut, not your emotions when you're eating. Don't look at it as a reward after a long day or Sometimes I like a sweet treat after a, or a lucrative morning of gig working, you know, because I just made, what's it, 80 bucks or something. I can afford a $3 cookie or $2 cookie. Why not? So that one got me in a little bit of trouble. Uh, number six, write down the plans for your day. Um, be in control so you're not necessarily reacting to the day, but you're in control of the day. You're in control of your mind. Um, MIT, most important tasks. I think three, MIT is a good place to start. You know, for me, it could be um, gigging in the morning, whether I want to make 50 bucks or 100 bucks. Um, could be mowing the lawn. It could be exercising. Exercising should be on that every day for me. Um, eating mindfully, yoga, stretching, shipping. You know, find your three most important things. Plan for the day and then see what else you can get done. Number seven, read as much as possible. Commit daily, even if it's just one page. Um, reading has completely changed my life. I don't do it as much as I'd like to, but the books that I choose to read have, have transformed me into this version of myself right now, so I know I just want to keep going at it and not just reading it and being done with it, but underlining, taking notes, really uh, reading with purpose, reading with passion so that you can use it to benefit your own life. It will change your life, trust me. There was a time when I was not reading and then the books, just a few off the top of my head, The Simple Path to Wealth completely changed my life financially. Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Um, Crush It by Gary V. He had something I think it was four or five years ago he had a flip challenge going I don't know if he was trying to make like twenty thousand dollars or something like that but that inspired me to just flip 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 and that was when I had a lot of stuff and I was able to sell a lot of the stuff that I had just the thousands of records that I had at one point I had a record store as I was collecting but I always collected and searched with value in mind I would get that stack of records and I would look them up when I got home and see if I had a good deal and I always knew in the back of my head that I could I could let him go and what a good time to have flipping records as a hobby um, as vinyl starts to come back so read as much as possible it will change your life number eight spend some time in nature um, it's gonna make you more mindful bring mindfulness to your day it's gonna slow you down open the windows open the blinds I'm always opening the blinds I could never live in a house I guess even in nature but those houses that don't get any sunlight, I mean, I need sunlight. It's just me. I guess some people don't. But enjoy seasonal outdoor activities, the summer ones, the fall ones, the winter ones, the spring ones. Um, get those into your life. Get out there in nature. Number nine, indulge your hobbies. I'm a big hobby guy. What makes you happy? Those little moments of joy, singing, dancing, writing. Um, for me, guitar is a big one, writing. Songs is a big one. Um, side hustling is a hobby. That's a good hobby. Find hobbies that make you money, not uh, find a frugal hobbies, right? Um, minimalism, self-improvement are hobbies for me. Listing stuff for sale, garage sales are hobbies, thrift store. Um, there's lots of hobbies in the personal growth, self-improvement area. So indulge your hobbies and it will change your life. And finally, the habit of self-care. Uh, prioritize yourself mentally and physically. Maybe I spent 
at one point too much physically and not enough mentally and then lately maybe too much mentally and not enough physically so we got to find that balance uh, also enjoy solo time solo time for me is 8 to 10 a.m. on the weekends looking at garage sales that's just a, a time of pure joy for me I get a lot of solo time when I do my shopping in the morning and you know you got a 10 minute drive or and you're in the store by yourself and you're kind of making it a game of do I know where this thing is can I find it how quick can I get this order done and here's an item that I've never seen before okay so now I know where that is and just these little fun games that you play with yourself to gamify your day to gamify life to practice self-care mentally and physically so I hope that these 10 daily habits will change your life I hope that you implement them or it's a refresher and a recharger to refocus on them. Hope you have a great weekend and I will be talking to you soon. Break free.